Hello, I'm Chris Salazar, and welcome to this new edition of Now at Netgear. Uh, so we're gonna be talking today about Pro AV. What is Pro AV? So I'm joined here by uh, with uh, Richard Yonker, who's okay. our Vice President of Small Medium Business. So uh, Richard, thank you for joining us. And thank cheers. you very much, thanks for your invitation. Cheers. A little bit of uh, coffee courage before we begin. Post, mm. that's Dutch. There you go. All right, so P uh, Pro AV. Um, we want to talk about kind of what is Pro-AV and why is Netgear such a pivotal player uh, in this space? All right. Well, thanks, Chris. It's a, definitely an exciting topic for a company that's been in uh, Ethernet switching for more than 20 years to get into the uh, professional audio video industry. That's what Pro-AV stands for. Um, that's quite a change, quite an addition to, uh, to what we've uh, been doing so far. The reason is not because Netgear has always had a product and is only now selling it into Pro-AV. It's the other way around. It's the professional audio video industry has hit a wall because video is changing to a new format. 4K is, uh, you know, that stands for a higher resolution. And that 4K also comes with a high dynamic range or HDR. And it comes with a higher frame rate. So more frames per second up to 60. To do all of that, uh, the traditional technology, the dinosaur circuit switching technology uh, cannot deliver. It right. fails, uh, resulting in artifacts, uh, low uh, performance, uh, high latency, and the customers and the installers in the AV industry don't accept that anymore. They want change. And Netgear is here to disrupt this industry with a uh, revolutionary technology using 10 gigabit Ethernet switching right. to bring video from the source to the screen. And in the case of professional audio and video, it's often multiple screens that can be in, a, in retail, in a shop, which right. is seven out of 10 installations are in, in retail, in a mall. Um, but it can also be in a stadium during concerts. It can be in a, uh, an operation room in a hospital where cameras are actually put in robots, put into your body to fix things that otherwise would uh, uh, you know, mean that you have to take your, your body uh, open. And in this case, there's no need. You can put right. the camera in an artery but that camera will generate through a fiber wire, a 4K image. It's just, if you want to deal with those images from multiple cameras, maybe even across um, the internet, and make sure that doctors can use uh, this, uh, you know, highest resolution footage, you got to have a transportation technology that works, that delivers. Yeah. So that, that's what we're uh, trying to accomplish here. And so we defined this together with 40 other companies in an alliance called Software Defined Video Over Ethernet, right. long term, in short, SDVOE. And with that group of companies that have world-class leading AV uh, vendors in it, we're bringing this to market. Uh, very exciting. We started this journey uh, five years ago in defining it and bringing it uh, to market over the last three years. Right. And, you know, it, it, it is now all coming together with a massive cutover in the industry to this technology because everyone has now found, yeah, the old one doesn't cut it anymore. No, an extra advantage of our technology is it's only a quarter of the price, it's faster, and it works out of the box. So yeah. th that together makes for a total disruption, and I'm very excited about this. Definitely, yeah. So we're uh, this is one of our key uh, technology inflections uh, that we're focused on here at Netgear. Um, and you mentioned the wide variety of use cases, so all the way from an operation room, which you would, you would probably think that every single second or millisecond is, is critical. Um, and then all the way to a sports stadium and even a music stadium where, you know, uh, you look at the TVs and if you're sitting far up high in a big stadium like Levi Stadium, uh, you want to see close up front and center what your favorite performer is yep. doing. Um, so it's critical. And, and the variety of use cases is what makes this really uh, interesting and exciting. Um, but speaking of use cases, what is uh, one of the use cases, and you mentioned the operation room, but is there another use case that uh, you've seen in the industry that kind of excites you or, or you, you actually said, wow, um, or maybe a future use case that you're really hoping that uh, Pro-AV can, can get us to? Yeah, there, there are a few. So the wow factor is definitely there. Um, so you could say it's anywhere where you have this drive for extreme high resolution video. Um, and you could say, for example, homes that have multiple screens, but let's say with a very uh, affluent owner, they want to move video throughout their home. They want to start a movie, and uh, let's think about the normal Netflix uh, example, right? right? But what if you could move footage with hand gestures in your home uh, and then just move it with your hand to another screen? And That's maybe true. mix two pictures together. So do picture in picture with your hands like the weather people do on the news. Right. 
And you could do that yourself in your home, or you can do that in a presentation in a conference room, including things like video conferencing at 4K, and merge fluently all these pieces of footage together, to, to make your point. Right. That is um, giving a new level of creativity um, to people, right? Yep. Whether it's in a home creative or in a professional environment. I think one other driver is the fact that 4K is also coming to television, right? And then yeah. you would say, oh, but these 4K televisions are stacked up at Best Buy and Walmart already for years. Yeah, but not on the source side, right? right. Broadcast television is only moving next year massively to 4K. And the leading event, as always, is um, the biggest sports event in the world, which is the Olympic Games. Right. In Tokyo 2020, the uh, native resolution will be 4K. And all the production and broadcast corporations in the world, many of them who were semi-state-owned outside the US, have to scramble now to move that, that technology. And there's a lot of change because parallel to that, it's not only moving to 4K technology, but also getting rid of this dinosaur legacy uh, connectivity, right. moving completely to IP, the, the technology that our Ethernet switches are based on, and adding a piece of cloud technology right. where you virtualize uh, things like cameras and screens, which means an operator can be anywhere in the world and can remote manage a camera with a 4K feed from, let's say, the 100 meter sprint. Yep. And you can dynamically uh, mix the signal with other signals. Um, you can manage it from whatever location and it's all 4K. And there's a lot of software in the background driving that. That's what's called uh, software defined networking. Also, that is going to get rolled in the professional AV industry through this move in broadcasting. We're very excited working with key technology partners across the world um, of making that happening. And that, that would include the BBC, for example, yeah. in, in the UK and uh, various broadcasting corporations across the world. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. You, we talked about uh, managing you know, all of this. So as we have Pro-AV, um, and even if you're at home and especially in businesses, uh, whether you're remote or there on site, you have to manage uh, all of this technology and all of these solutions. And that's where uh, insight management from Netgear uh, really comes into play and brings it all together um, and is that full solution um, for uh, for businesses. So yeah, what is insight the, the, management and, and uh, what does it mean to this, uh, you know, how is it so critical to this business? Yeah, as I mentioned, there is a phenomenon called software defined networking where functions disappear from a switch like the ones we have in front of us right. and uh, become a piece of software that can be anywhere and well, we may as well put it in the cloud because then it's not only anywhere, it's everywhere, right. right? And with that realization, you can make a technology that has the piece of hardware where you want it at the premises of your customer, but the management in the cloud. So you can remote manage uh, pieces of hardware. You can remote monitor a customer's network. Now that's new, right? right? The fact that you can manage many customers' networks from wherever you are, even on a mobile app, for a cost that is very low because you have one instance of software managing many different devices, right. different locations, different kinds of devices. That makes for a record-breaking ease of use, a record-breaking price, lower than ever, and total cost of ownership. Mm -hmm. While it adds a revenue stream for system integrators and service providers because they can sell now networking as a service. That's another new part, right? Rather than selling a piece of hardware, you sell uptime. You yep. sell the fact that 99.99% of the time your network is up and immediately when something goes wrong, you know about it because you have this remote managed system installed called Insight Pro. So we have a version for people that manage their own network and we have a version for people that operate as a service provider to others. That's awesome. So let's, uh, let's play what if. Um, what if what you if? were a system integrator um, and you were managing a customer site? Mm -hmm. um, since you can remote management, where would be that ideal place in the world that you would remote manage one of your customer sites? It would definitely not be in a cubicle. Yeah. I, I see a beach, sea, palm trees, maybe a cocktail. Gotcha. And my phone buzzes where, it doesn't matter where I am, yeah, right? It buzzes in the same way. Doesn't matter. So when I see a notification that an access point is in trouble because it has too much load, right. I can troubleshoot that from the beach, gotcha. enjoying a cocktail. Okay. That would be perfect. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, me too. Um, Hawaii, well, Greece, uh, anywhere. Would, yeah. be, would be good for me. Um, all right, so before we close out, is there anything regarding Pro-AV um, in terms of either the, the feature uh, growth and uh, the rest of this year, 2020, you mentioned um, the, the Olympics, or even further than that, that you're just really excited for um, and Netgear's uh, kind of role 
in that and in, in evolving uh, where ProAV becomes. Yeah, I think realizing that that our Netgear connectivity technology is driving events like the Olympic Games, right. like um, uh, an operation, a life-saving operation, that that's cranking it up a notch, yep. right? The, the fact that we are becoming that important for people, because I don't think you can get people more angry than the second before the 100 meter final, the network cuts out. I think that that's a level of aggravation you don't want to have. Oh, yeah. If we can be the, the company that fixes that problem and that makes sure that reliably you get 4K video about these events or about a life-saving operation, I mean, that's, uh, right. yeah, that, that's a different level. That, that's very exciting. Definitely. All right, great. Sounds good. So uh, the last segment of this is uh, we're going to transition over to the Netcare hot seat. Um, so this is where we're going to put you in the hot seat. Um, and we're going to ask you uh, a few different, we're going to give you a few different words or phrases. Mm -hmm. um, and you got to say the first thing that pops into your mind. Uh, and you got 30 seconds. All right. You ready? I take hope a sip so. of your coffee in case you need it. Oh, just, uh, Might as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the neck your hot seat. First one. So we'll start the <laughs> clock right now. Neck your business. It's what I do. It's what we live and breathe. Uh, it's our product. M4300. Uh, world-class leading technology that's going to disrupt an entire industry. Your favorite drink? Any drink. Your favorite uh, beverage when you're, uh, when you're on a beach? Uh, that would be either a cold beer or a cocktail. Boats? Uh, sit on boats in nice weather. Floating is great. PSV soccer team? Best team in the world. Don't believe anyone that says <laughs> that Barcelona... Uh, is is better because they're overrated and you'll see that in the Champions League this year. I don't think they're going to win. All right, you heard it from Richard. Uh, last one, Pro AV. A new industry for Netgear, two and a half times as big as the data industry that we've uh, been operating in for the last 23 years. And we're going to disrupt it like there's no tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Thank, thanks a lot, Richard, for, Thank you, for joining. Thank you, Chris. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Now at Netgear. Please make sure you subscribe down below, comment, um, and we'll see you soon. Uh -huh.